It's still the weekend. Let's play some Weekend Jeopardy. It's uh, it's Sunday, so I'm not going to play Team Jeopardy this week, but we got the Sports Jeopardy game to play. Let's see how it goes. Alexa, let's play Jeopardy. This is Jeopardy. And now, here is your host, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny, and welcome, players. Thanks, Alex. You can play Sports Jeopardy or catch up on the clues from this week. Which would you like to play? Catch up. I don't think I have. You've any. already played all the clues this week. You can continue and replay Monday's clues. Do you want to replay the clues from earlier this week? Sports Jeopardy. Good morning, players. Now it's time for this week's Sports Jeopardy clues. Our first category is the National Hockey League. The 2017 NHL season opener pitted the St. Louis Blues against these defending Stanley Cup champs. Who are the Penguins? You're right. Your second category is the Milwaukee Braves. Didn't think I was the Braves beat the Yankees in the 1957 World Series, thanks in large part to this future home run king. Who is Hank Aaron? Excellent. Your third category is UFC champs. This Olympic medalist in judo became the first UFC women's champ. Who is Rousey? Good job. The fourth category is indoor sports. Get lucky. Dublin was home to the 2017 Grand Prix in this sport, where players stand about eight feet from a target and throw three objects in a row. Uh, what is Please Axel? give your response, or I can skip this clue. Which would you like? What is darts? Excellent. Today's fifth category is no Mr. Idea. Olympia. Just wing it In October all these, 2003, basically. this seven-time Mr. Olympia became California's governor. Who is Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes, that's it. The category is NASCAR in the Arnold. news. Arnold. NASCAR fans expressed their anger when Subway dropped its deal with Daniel Suarez after he handed out these treats to fans. What are Twinkies? Sorry, donuts. the correct response was what are donuts? Let's see what's in what store for yes. the double Jeopardy round. The next Jeopardy category is gymnastics. At gymnastics competitions, like this year's World Championships in Montreal, men compete on an apparatus known as this kind of horse. What is a pommel? That's not oh, it. Fuck. The correct response was what is pommel horse? Today's 8th Jeopardy category is running she backs. Already said this kind of On horse. October 7th, 1984, this Bears running back broke Jim Brown's record for career rushing yards. Who is Peyton? Good job. The ninth category is NBA Got teams. Robin, yeah. In September 2017, it was reported that a Houston billionaire agreed to buy this NBA team for $2.2 billion. Who are the Rockets? Correct. Your 10th Jeopardy category is college football. At the beginning of the 2017 college football season, there was talk that this Louisville quarterback could be a repeat Heisman winner. Who is Jackson? You're right. The category is golfers. Born in Honolulu in October 1989, she began competing against men on the PGA Tour at age 14 and won the U.S. Women's Open at 24. Repeat, what the fuck's that girl's name? Please give your response, or I can skip this clue. Which would you like? Repeat. Again, the category she... is golfers. Born in Honolulu in October 1989, uh, she began competing against men on the PGA Tour at age 14 and won the U.S. Women's Open at 24. Who is we? Excellent. Your final category is video games. Should have been a fail. Obviously. This skateboarder teamed with Activision to create the pro skater video game franchise. Who is Tony Hawk? Yes, that's correct. 
All right, let's see how you did today. Nice work. 10 out of 12 clues correct. You should be very proud. You scored in the top 10% of players today. Great job. You've played Jeopardy 23 days in a row. Love playing Jeopardy every day? Please rate us to show your support. Come back tomorrow for more Jeopardy clues. I don't think that's true. Well, it's obviously it isn't true. Jeopardy 24 days in a row? I didn't play Jeopardy at all last week. I played the catch-up games on Saturday. So that wasn't correct at all. Uh, but well, maybe they count the days uh, that the game aired or that the clues aired or something. I don't know. That makes sense. Although I don't play the weekend Jeopardy anymore either because I can't play it. So there's no way that I've played Jeopardy 23 days in a row. Absolutely no clue. No way. No way. Um, back to the clues that I missed. Um, well, first, lots of the clues that I answered correctly were basically guesses. Most of them were educated guesses, but I wasn't 100% on them for sure. It was like, um, if you remember the Watson games when he, Watson was playing Brad and Ken, and he, they showed, like, he's, a, it's, he's this percentage sure on this clue, and, like, basically he just popped it up, like, based on how many, I assume, how many articles and things he had that associated whatever the word was, or, I don't know, I don't really know how it works. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching.